I got a bottle of wine in front of me, so I'm good. Nice. Um, <laughs> oh, so bring me liquor. Genlin, you see her conversing with those people at the door. Would you like to approach? No, I'm going to do a stealth check and make sure that any of them don't. Well, at least she doesn't see me. Sure, you're actually, and you're able to easily, oh. yeah, and you're able to easily weave through the alleyways. Okay. Like you're like able to go like zoom, zoom, and come out and watch from here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I wanted to stick close by because when she leaves, I want to see if I can converse with them before. As they... she's as they're having a conversation, the two adults are in tears, pleading with the woman not to take their boy. But she seems to not be re uh, relenting. You don't hear any um, words from her, but eventually an arrangement is made of some sort of thing you cannot really make out, but it ends with the parents bringing their young child, who the woman takes, places in a sack, puts into the wheelbarrow, oh! and begins to yep. walk away. Yep. Hashtag meat pies. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. If it makes you feel better, in my campaign, I ate one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go, n once she's not too far gone, but when she's a little bit far gone, I'm gonna not uh, go up to that door. Uh, you hear pained wailing coming from inside. They don't answer? They do not answer. I'm like, I'm here to help. Please answer the door. They're completely distraught. You can try to make a persuasion check to see if you can break through. Yeah, sure. Well, oh. why don't you go? There it goes. Um... After a few moments, uh, a man the, a man opens the door, and he's just kind of is just he's fearful. But when he sees it's you, he kind of that fear kind of subsides for a second. He just says, "Yes." What happened there? <laughs> In that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He he kind of just. He says in kind of a daze, he says, we owed her payment, but we just... Why does she take payment? For the pies. For the pies. To feed you? To take us... To make it all okay. How is this okay? He kind of is just in a daze. And do you want to make a perception check for me? Yeah. Oh, now I'm rolling good. Now Inside I'm Inside the house, you see the woman who was at the door, obviously the mother, in tears, yeah. eating one of the dream pastries. After a few bites, her tears subside, and she, she enters into a sort of daze. Oh. I see. Okay. Uh, I, I'll... I'll say I'll try, I'll try to get your boy back. And I'll leave. The door closes behind you. Uh, Asipiter, we'll go to you. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to uh, impose anymore. I... Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know. Are there just like... Uh... Hold on one sec. I got to read an ability. All right, we'll go to uh, yeah, 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 Xandra. Yeah. Um, I think Xandra's just gonna turn in for the night. Sure, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay, not that, this. Da, 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 da. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Sorry. Tiny, would you wanna do anything? Um. 
against uh, what James's suggestions are, I am in fact going to summon berries, but just to feed myself for the day. And if she wants any, she can have some. We're just sitting, vibing. Sure, she takes. Friends. She takes a berry if you if you like yeah. offer her one kindly. She'll take one. Yeah, that, but that's that's it. Like just because rations for the day. She says they're delicious. <clears throat> they're they are good they're berries. Good berries. <laughs> All right, Asipiter, what um, do you want to do? <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm just reading through everything you can do with ceremony, seeing if there's anything. Up. Uh, da, da, da. No, 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 no. Oh, funeral rites. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. I'm going to do funeral rites on Gandling because we'll never see him again. I uh, know. There's nothing. <laughs> There's Dad. nothing for ceremony. You did uh, this. I'm, no, I'm gonna... no, no, you did this to yourself. I don't believe I did. <laughs> Pretty sure you got yourself kicked out of the fucking house, but all right. That, that's uh, that's wine talking, Mike. Um, let's. Uh, I don't know. Are there just like dishes or something to do that I can help no, out with the house no, before I turn in? No, no, no. This house is a ruin. A <laughs> mansion, you said. Yeah. But it's a ruin by yeah. the werewolves. Is there a fire werewolves. in the earth? There is a fire pit, yes. Is there a fire in it? Yes. Is it a good fire? It's an okay fire. I create bonfire. Nice. It's oh. a good, it's a good oh. fire now. Okay. Sick. Uh, That's one of the other uses of that spell. It's not just to kill things. It's to create a fire to make things nice. Okay, okay, okay. It's not blowing uh, anything up. Concentration. Shit, that doesn't do uh, good. Again, I'm, I'm just go trying to... While Sipiter's still just flipping through his spell book. I'm just seeing if there's any way I can kind of ward the house for the evening. Against Strahd? No way. Against, like, petty evil. Then, yeah, okay, you can look for that. We're going to go to Gamlin. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. What do you got, Gamlin? Do I find her? You do find her. She's uh, making her way down the road this way. Making her way downtown. Uh, oh, okay. you gotta can test catch. your metal. Can I catch up to her? You can, yes. How much does that family owe you? She shakes her head and says, This is not a fight you want to pick, my dear. I'm not picking a fight. I'm asking how much they owe you. What they owe me is more than money. How can it be more than money? <laughs> As I said, my dear, it's best if you just let this be. I don't think I can. She sizes you up and says, then it's your death if you wish to push Ooh. further. Heed the warning. Heed. What, can I, what can I give you to get that boy back, even just for now? As far as I'm concerned, you, nothing. She keeps what? she she continues to keep walking and she says, "It's best if you don't try to intimidate someone when you're all by my all by yourself, my dear." I'm not trying to intimidate. I'm asking. And I told you, I have no nothing to barter for. I have my payment right here. The bag Wait, what? What can I give you for him? Nothing. The, there can't be nothing. You have to have a price. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> uh, with with she just kind of is continuing to push it, not really acknowledging that. <sighs> I'm gonna throw her pie at her. Oh Oof. my god, you're gonna die. She laughs, wiping away the pie. Her face has changed to a pointed blue grin with horns co uh, covered by long flowing hair. And she says, in a deeper voice, twisted and broken, that just says, do you wish to do this here? I'll cut your throat in this very street. Where else would we do it? Oh my God! She attacks you. Yay! What's your AC? Uh, 13. Oh, oh no! 
She hits you twice. Oh. You take 26 damage. Oh. Yeah, I'm at zero. Does that kill you outright? Is that twice no, your health? No. Not That's quite. Not That's w not even close to twice. But... Genlin collapses to the ground, bleeding through the throat, and the woman continues to push her cart down the road out of the city. I can't have a reaction to that, can I? No. Uh, you can, like, clutch your throat and gasp for air, I'm pretty yeah, sure. That's about the red. <laughs> yep. Ha! Uh, hey, Genlin. Yeah. Do you want to give me a death save? Yeah. You have one I'm success. Dead. A sipiter, have you found a spell? Uh, there is nothing. I thought maybe I could but I've got nothing applicable. Um, well, I was going to step outside to see if I could see Genlin, but that seems metagamey now. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't, though, if you were going to do it before. Yeah, you were going to do it, it before. Yeah, so I'll just kind of step outside the front to see if he's just, like, chilling out there. He is not chilling out there. And there's no... <sighs> he's not by chance like well you know what let's do an investigation to see if I can figure out where he went like, tracks and shit you know sure or survival I'm like uh yeah where am I can you point that on the map yeah okay investigation or survival it doesn't fucking matter let's investigate boop boop uh you're able to find tracks that go <laughs> uh this way <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's follow the tracks. And as I'm doing it, I'm gonna show you name. Sure, they kind of uh, wander this way as well. Okay, and I'm then just, out I'm, this way. I'm just gonna follow them in, and shouting his name until hopefully I don't encounter any fiends. If she walked away, doesn't that technically take Mike out of combat, Justin? He's in punishment combat right now. Yeah. <laughs> she's like doing that thing where she's hovering just on the edge of the zone. Just yeah. Being, ah, fuck you. Fuck you. Gamlin, can I have a death save? Yeah. That's oh, two. Yeah. Uh, you're at this house right here, Ascipiter. Uh, Tiny, did you want to do anything during this? No, I'm just hanging out with I uh, Irina. Cool. Sick. <laughs> you guys are best friends. I love it. Yeah. So cute. The tracks continue this way. Let's get us da Ganlin! Ganlin, give me a death save. Last, well, hopefully last one? No, oh. that's a failure. Uh, the tracks continue this way, Asipiter. Ganlin! You see in the distance a body lying in the middle of the street. Oh my god. <laughs> Ganlin, will you give me a death save? Yes, I will. One, one, one. Oh. <laughs> that's, you, that's three successes. You have stabilized at zero. You are no longer dying. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'll run up to the body. You find Genlin with his throat slashed open. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh shit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm in my mind. I'm mixing up like cleric. Uh, stabilization. I can't. He's Just, stable. Not bleeding out. He's fine. Lay on hands for zero. one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's lay on hands for one. Ba boom. Denlin, you come that. up to one HP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like kneeling, holding you. You know, I'm, I'm like force healing you like Raz of Skywalker right now. Now let's kiss. <laughs> um, <laughs> now let's kiss. All right. Uh... And I'm just gonna be like, Genlin! What and happened? She took someone's. That Sorry. was an accident. Sorry. They said to stay off the main street at night. That she took someone's son. Who's she? The old woman. The fiend. Yes. Genlin, do you have a death wish? No. <sighs> Though your cause is nobles, you have to understand living to fight another day is 
sometimes the nobler option. And sometimes saving the town is the nobler option. I can see I'll get nowhere with you, but I'll spend the night with you to make sure you're safe. Let's set up camp. I'll uh, just lead him back to close to the estate. We'll stay just outside of it and set up camp and hopefully not die. Gatlin, are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I'm at one HP. I am i don't feel too good right now. <laughs> <laughs> no shit! I have eight good berries left. <laughs> um, too bad you're busy, like, having berries and cream with Irina. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more cherries and cream. Um, do you, um... So you guys stay outside. Tiny, do you eventually go to bed? Uh, yeah. Um... Can I have the two people sleeping outside make a perception check around midnight? Yeah. Oh, no. Kenlin, why? Uh, how? Give us both. Um, what time was it? That was like eight thirty. Oh, yeah, that no. was like that was like yeah nine o'clock probably. So can I have my um, short, can I have my short rest? Um. Yeah, you can have your short rest, but before then, yeah. I'm just like. I'll heal 1d8. Eagle-eyed on fucking Genlin to make sure he doesn't run. Plus, plus my constitution, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I healed four in my short rest. Cool. And then... Uh, yeah, perception. Perce perception. Yes, please. Um, mm -hmm. As you guys are sleeping, like, around here, this is where you're resting... Yeah. yeah. Um, up here, around midnight, you notice that there is a very noticeable green glow coming from around this part of the city. What do you think that is? I'll finally look over. <laughs> you see the great glow. Um... <laughs> Do a knowledge arcana for ominous green glowing, I guess? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> Just like, yeah, that shit's magic. Um, uh, I, I'll do a divine sense uh, to see, like, how fucking evil that is. What's your range on divine sense? Great question. Doesn't say. It doesn't <laughs> say. Is it reasonable? Within 60 feet. Where does it say within six? There it is, right so, there. So you're this is sixty feet. No, yo, <laughs> no. Uh, never mind. I won't do that then. I will. Uh... The astral projected form is sixty feet. I'll uh, just. Uh... Are we, did you set up a tent? Yeah, we set up camp. I don't think there's a tent. I don't think you guys have tents in your pack. Okay, but, well, we room. set up camp. Yeah, we oh, set up camp. Oh, I don't have a tent. Nope. <laughs> Just a I am, I'm just gonna look at Genlin and be like, it's none of your, it's none of our concern tonight. What do you mean it's none of our concern? Oh my All god. All of this is our concern. Oh my god. Genlin, I'm Genlin leaving has with a you. Death wish. Just let us at least help Irina before we come back to Barovia and throw our lives away. Don't you think, though, that Strahd's going to come after us if we try to take away something that he wants? I know Strahd's going to come after us! Strahd has come after us! I'm just going to, like, turn my back to him and try to go back to sleep. Did some, did some smoke come out of your nose while you did that? Oh, definitely. <laughs> All the dragon oh, oh, that's so cool. That was so cool. All the dragon caricatures of anger. Uh, I'm going to try and roll a... Uh, once he turns away from him, I was going to try and roll a stealth against him. Sure. Holy... Uh, you know what? I'm, like, actually <laughs> asking him. He can just leave. Yeah, he. you notice him leaving, but if you don't do anything... <sighs> I'll take a turn before I react. Please. So don't look <laughs> desperate. 
Gentlemen, do you walk up towards the great light, the green light? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk to to about 60 to 40 feet away. I just want to see if I can see anything. Uh, you'll have to get to about right here to see in detail. So about 20 Ooh. feet away? Yep. Okay, I'll, can I roll a stealth check of whatever that is, against whatever that is? Yeah, you can go for it. Nope, not any better. <laughs> you are a stealth master though, you feel. I feel like I am. Uh, do you do anything, Ascipiter? Uh, I'm gonna finally chase Genlin after I see that he's, like, close. <laughs> so yeah. once I'm 20 feet away, you're gonna be like, shit. Well, once, like, when you're, like, what, what's, what, sorry, where's the ruler? What is this shit? So, okay, and here where? You're about here? No, a uh, little, far, about 200 feet. There you go. You're right at 200? Down. So yeah. when you're like about here, I'm gonna start after you. Mm. I'll uh, be like he, this son of a bitch. <laughs> he does make it here yes. by the time you catch up with him, and you yeah. guys both see it. A go a glowing ghostly green procession of doughty women toting great swords, wood swords, woodwise men with slender bows. Dwarves with glittering asses, axes, not asses, <laughs> and archaically dressed mages with asses. beards and strange pointed hats. They seem to be walk walking in a large procession, uh, going from here down to the road outside of the city. There seems to be hundreds, if not two hundreds, of these ghosts. Ghosts. Uh, do I? Can I do a Sorry. Can I do a perception of, are these the army that the city had sent out before? Uh, there seem to be in different, many different times and ages, so you could uh, oh. wager that these are many of the armies that have ventured out to kill Strahd. Okay. Uh, do we have to do any sort of, like, wisdom or anything? To do what? Uh, to, uh, to, like, react, move. Are we, like, in, uh, enchanted or anything? Nope. Okay, cool, because uh, as I'm running after him, I'm just going to dive tackle him to try and, like, pull him away. Sure, because it's Are coming you... from behind, make, uh, you can just grapple him, because it's not going to do okay. any damage. Yeah, I'm just going to grab him and just start dragging him back. In the, like, Are you uh, seeing it? Wait, 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 wait. Not, Are you... not, not into, like, uh, like, just to kind of, like, in an alley to hide him sort of thing, not back to camp, right? Like to get him away. The second he starts talking, I'm gonna put a hand over his mouth and just be like, shh, 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 shh. These aren't. What? I don't know what this is. <laughs> These aren't enemies. Come see. I'm. I'm literally. You're gonna have to try and scream through. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna that? try and pull his hand off my. Oh I'm no, just gonna... no! Because James didn't roll for a grapple. You still can do whatever you want, Mike. Because I'm just gonna pull his hand away and whisper to him. These yeah. aren't enemies. Take a look. <laughs> Um, I don't even, I, I'm just going to like push you to the ground in the alley. That's fine. And Are I'm you... just, no, I'm not going to look. I'm just going to be like, Genlin, this is look. the last straw. Look. You have to listen. No, I found you, you with your throat slashed on the street. You don't know what you're dealing with here. You're headstrong and you're brave. And I want to believe your heart's in the right place. But look, you are... can you just, just look? I will not look. I don't know what kinds of creatures are here. They're what not sort creatures. Of dangers there are. They're not creatures. They're the undead. They're the, well, not oh, the undead. I guess they're the, the ghost of people that went to fight Strahd in the past. Look at them. <laughs> um, sorry, what is it to tell if they're charmed? What was that? I, I don't have it prepared. I don't have it prepared. Magic. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I remember now. I thought it was an ability. Just look. They're not coming after us. Look behind you. They're not coming after us. Look at the armies that they've sent after Strahd. Genlin, I have exhausted my compassion with you. It would be unwise of asked, me. I never asked for It would compassion. be unwise of me to try and save you any further. We have other people to help. I'm asking you to... And I'm only trying to help the people that I can. Please look. I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna leave them there. Sure. I'm angry. 
I I can't. I'm angry at him. I'm going to leave him there and I'm going to go back to uh I'm going to like wrap up the camp and stuff, my supplies of it at least. And I'm going to uh if the door's not locked at, uh, at the estate, is it locked? No. No. If it's if it's not locked, I'm going to go in and just try and get whatever rest I can on the couch. <laughs> sure. Yeah. There's no couch. <laughs> on my bed roll. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Gamlin, what would you like to do? I'm going to come back out from the alley and look at the procession. The procession continues. How long do you watch it? Until it's over. Uh, it ends uh. at about 3 o'clock in the morning. And the, the procession continues well out of town. If you move to over here to follow, they walk all the way down Svalich Road until you can no longer see them in sight. However, in the distant horizon over the trees, you can tell that their glow continues towards the looming castle Ravenloft across uh, north of here. So that road eventually splits off? It rounds around some trees, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I will go over there and watch them until they're until they're off in the distance. Sure. Yeah, because you're an elf. You only need like four hours, right? I only need four hours. Yeah. Um. Yeah, till probably about probably about five a.m. ish, and then I'll wake my way back to the to the to the ma to the mayor's house or whatever. Sure. And my bedroll, I'm assuming, is master. My bedroll is still on the side of the house there. It is, yes. I want to say I pissed on it, but that's not a very pal thing to do. <laughs> that's it not is a very not. Thing to do. <laughs> I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it more to beside the door. Sure. And uh, and do my four hour meditation till nine a.m. Sure. Morning eventually comes. All of you guys have had a long rest. Oh. <sighs> And in the morning, uh, Ismark and Irina are both ready to head to the chapel to lay the Burgomaster to rest. Yes, I believe we shall follow. Sorry, I'm just picking my prepared spells for the day. Are you going to put Detect Magic in there? I sure am. <laughs> Detect magic. Detect good and evil. Rather than protection from good and evil? No, protection from good and evil is my class skill, isn't it? Uh, you should have two health spells. I don't know what they are. Yeah, yeah. it should. I think it's protection. I think it's sanctuary and protection it's from protection. good and evil. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. So, okay. So sanctuary. can't muck with that one. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Uh, I'm going to to lay their father to rest with the rest of the party unless they don't want to but I'm going to do that cuz I'm a paladin well, I'm and I going. love I love church <laughs> I will if also I've made go a new friend, out of I'm 100% going uh, yeah. outside the door uh Genlin is waiting in meditation uh but he is able to interact with you guys freely <laughs> Exceptor kicks him Exceptor ignores him entirely he looks rough, right? Uh, no. He looks fully oh. rested. Fully healed. That's how D&D but... works. <laughs> okay. Hey, how's his throat look? His throat has magically healed. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's how D&D Because that's how D&D works. Um, okay, if he, if he doesn't, if he looks fine, then I'll just also ignore him. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going. All um, I've ever hey. wanted, chat, is a party that's a party. I never get this. <laughs> I I am trying hard to be getting what time friend. what time is it that they pass by? Nine in the morning. Oh, okay. Then I'm just getting I'm I'm literally I mean d any time during my meditation I can I can perceive my world around me. I'm not completely out of it. Yeah. Um I will I will roll up my bedroll, pack it away and and follow them down the path. Uh you guys eventually reach the church. Where Donovich steps out looking as tired as he did la uh, when you saw him yesterday. And he mm -hmm. walks you guys to the back. Uh, and he asks for help from the party to uh, bury the body in one of the open graves. The coffin in one of the open graves. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's help the piss out of this guy. He's never had more help. Uh, and Donovich 
does his rites to the morning, uh, to the, uh, whatever that god's morning name Lord. was. The morning lord. Lysander! Can I learn it? No. You Dang. can watch it, but you can't, like, like, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just asking. Asking for a friend. <laughs> Where it would take Lysander. years. You can learn phrases like how to go to the bathroom and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then when it's laid to rest, uh, Ismark and Irina take a, a small moment together near the, near the uh, grave. As it does, uh, Donovich walks up to the group and begins muttering something to you guys. What's he muttering? I was told by Ismark that today you are taking Irina from the village of Barovia. That is correct. That is our intention. Uh, it's good. She must be taken as far from Castle Ravenloft as possible. Can we see Castle Ravenloft at all this morning? Yes, you or is can. It too it's a uh, large, looming fortress over the distance. Let me see if I can get a picture. I hope there's how a How does... Exifiter. Does he need to do anything with that? Nope. No, he just oh, hates that's it. That's ominous. That's ominous. Oh, yeah, I was just about to say, if you have the monster manual, you can see it under vampires. So looming. He says, and then he mutters, you must take her to the Abbey of St. Markovia in Kresik. It's a strong, good church. Uh, where's the journal handout? Da, 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 in da, handouts. Da. There we go. Sorry, Abby of what? It's in chat. Oh, Abby of... Da, da, da. And failing that, the fortified town of Valaki will do good for her. But the Abbey of St. Markovia is a holy church. Is there a priest there we should deliver her to? There must be, yes. It's been some years since I've been there, but I believe it to be safe. Um, as we're parting ways with him, if no one else wants to say anything to him, uh, I'm, I'm just not gonna... even. I'm kind of off in the distance. Anyway, I'm not even come up close. Yeah, fuck you, Galen. I'm mad at you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I uh. I am going to just, just, just uh, let you know kinda... nearby. <laughs> um, He's watching yeah, over I can, you. I can detect good and evil, right? I, um, I'm just gonna try and like leave him with some comforting words and just be like, "You're brave, you're strong, and you're resilient. Don't let me find you hanging when I return." He doesn't really That's acknowledge that with it. anything. Yeah. He just kind of nods and begins to walk back towards the church. Cool. Uh, I'll go up to Ismark and be like, now I know you said you had no horses, but any beast of burden? My answer is the same as last night. Please, keep Irina safe. We will... Well, I'm not near that. Irina, do you have everything you need, or... She nods and says, yes, I'm ready to go. You notice now oh, that uh, she has a silver uh, chest plate on and on her back is a silver sword. Oh, man, that looks like it has way better AC than my chainmail. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'll ask Xandra and Tiny, are you ready to go? Yes. Tiny nods. I'll uh, turn and look at Genlin. And I'll be like, hey, asshole, will you be causing trouble on this journey with us? Well, maybe if you guys have my back more. <laughs> I just, I look at, I look at Zandra like, what are they talking about? I, I have no idea of what went on uh, or why this like so we're just like is, looking at each other is happening. But I'm I'm still like a little angry at Genlin for like how he behaved in the church and his opinions and how he got kicked out. <laughs> Sorry, is Genlin just straight up an atheist? <laughs> 
Yes. Mike? And what's yeah. his alignment? He's not evil. No, no, he's not evil. Okay. He's chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. Right. Okay. Good, 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 good. Not good, but good. <laughs> I, I also think in D and D, synthetic said it earlier. You're not really an atheist. You just don't like work. worship a at, god. Yeah, the you don't follow. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't. You're follow agnostic. God. They're there. I understand, I understand they exist. I don't worship any of them. Yeah. Okay. Just because I'm. Yeah. Just the term atheist doesn't fit in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. It does not fit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in gods because none of them are personal. The only the only uh, exception I'd make is for dwarves because dwarves are really fucking persnickety and they'll believe they're better than a god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I should play a dwarf next. Uh, that's and that's cool. the end of this episode. Yeah. As you guys venture out to Barovia. Yes. Yes. All right. Bye, you two. Bye-bye. Uh, just...